What's up guys, it's Dr. Webb here. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe, new videos coming every week. Today, you guys are gonna hang out with me as I uh, cover a football game here shortly. Um, and residency, especially orthopedic uh, surgery residency, we have the opportunity to be the physician for uh, games around the kind of city, like uh, high school, football, uh, basketball, college football, the uh, UTSA um, football team here in Carnet Ward. Uh, a couple of the colleges, high schools, middle schools, we cover their football games. Uh, most schools, they require a physician to be on staff at the football game in case there's an injury. Um, so that's what we do in orthopedics. Most of the injuries that do occur in a kind of sporting event are orthopedic injuries. So hence that orthopedic surgeons are usually they cover the games. So in residency, we have the opportunity to um, be at these football games. So I will go to the football game here shortly. It starts here in the next uh, one to two hours. I'm about to actually head there, head that way soon. And then I'll be on the sidelines. I will be uh, with the uh, team. And then I, in a, at halftime, I'll go in the locker room and see if there's anybody that needs uh, any type of assistance. Some, some players, they may injure their knee or their arm and they want to continue playing. So at halftime, that's when they want to get looked at. Um, the uh, head injuries, like that, that's big in the news these days for the NFL as well as at college. Uh, that's one thing I'll, I'll take a look at tonight and make sure that if there's a patient who is, has a concern for a concussion, um, that means that he has a injury to his brain that is uh, that can be life-threatening if you can continue to let them play. So I'll uh, be on the lookout for that. There are some signs and symptoms that you look out for. Uh, if they forget that what happened, if they just uh, get up off the ground and all of a sudden they don't know where they are, uh, we'll go through some testing to make sure that they can um, concussion testing on the sideline. There's some trainers there as well that do most of that, and I'm just kind of uh, there in case they need some assistance. Um, there has been some injuries where patients, they tore their ACL, and I went to go examine them, and then uh, we have to take them to the hospital or vice versa. So um, football is a uh, pretty it's a pretty safe sport overall, but there can be some injuries that occur. So uh, it should be fun. I want you guys to see what it's like to be a doctor uh, covering a football game. So uh, we about to I'm about to head there here shortly. You guys are gonna hang out with me. And I'll try to get some footage of the game as as well as some of the trainers and some of their supplies. So uh, stay tuned. So I just got to the uh, game, about to uh, walk onto the field here and meet with the trainer. Um, and then the game starts here in the next 30 minutes. So I just got onto the field, about to meet with one of the trainers, and he's gonna show us kind of what's in their bag that they keep on the sideline here, just in case someone gets hurt. I just got face wraps. Should be like a boot put in here. Any type of brace or splint that we need okay. is in this bag. And then over here. You keep all this stuff on the sideline. Yeah, this is the rapid form splints. And then this is the AED just in here. So we got an AED just in case we need it. And then this is the bag. Splints in case we have a pretty bad fracture or something. Mic test. Mic test. All the stuff in here. One, two, one, two.
So my job is to stand on the sidelines, and if anybody gets hurt, I am here to uh, assist in their uh, injuries. Usually it's ACLs, meniscal tears, knee dislocations, uh, fractures, um, uh, all different types of injuries in football. So we'll see what happens tonight. Coming in and flying high, South Carolina, Biden Cardinal. Number 50, Eric Elizondo. So it is halftime. I just got to the uh, locker room, I right outside the locker room. There, luckily, there were no injuries the first half. Uh, we'll see what happens the second half. You may be wondering, uh, how do I get the opportunity to do this? Well, there are sports medicine doctors or orthopedic surgeons in the community, and they're always looking for residents to uh, come to the games and uh, help out. So that's why I'm here. It's about to be second half, and then I'll take off uh, right after the game, head home. I'm on call tomorrow. Uh, if you haven't checked out my video, on call 30 hours, make sure you check it out. I have another one of those tomorrow. Uh, long call tomorrow, so um, get home and get some sleep right after this game and head to work tomorrow. Number six, Michael Mendez, the quarterback, Oscar. 